At first glance, this job site looks like just another building demolition. But take a closer look. The piles of carefully sorted materials are signs of a new approach, called deconstruction. These workers are reducing landfill waste by reusing and recycling the valuable materials found in this former train station. For many years, this was the site of the BC Rail train station in North Vancouver. But now, this is slated to become the home of the new Lionsgate Secondary Wastewater Treatment Plant, where the addition of secondary treatment facilities will improve the quality of effluent being discharged into Burrard Inlet. And rather than simply demolish the buildings that once stood on this land, Metro Vancouver is meeting the requirements for LEED certification through deconstruction. We want to achieve at least 85% uh, either reuse or recycle. Um, We've uh, been able to uh, salvage uh, all of the uh, floor and roof joists, so I imagine we're likely achieving about a 95% uh, recycle. Re uh, There's very li little going to the landfill. The wood beams and large planks will be taken away to be remanufactured into flooring. The smaller dimension lumber, shiplap and plywood siding are chipped and trucked to Squamish for use as fuel at a local mill. The metal and drywall will be recycled. Bricks and concrete are crushed for use as raw material in road building. And the large steel trusses of the freight shed are being put to pasture with a new home and a new purpose. Uh, we're going to dismantle it. We're going to just number every piece and uh, re-erect it on our uh, farm in South Langley and uh, use it for hay storage and farm equipment storage area. The deconstruction process is nearly complete. The next stage in the project will be design and construction. The new Lionsgate Secondary Wastewater Treatment Plant is slated to begin operation in 2020.